Kevin Levroni vs Paul Dillette at the 1994 Mr. Olympia, when Kevin was placed third and Paul fourth, behind Dorian Yates and Sean Ray, who arguably presented his best shape ever and was considered by many to be the uncrowned Mr. Olympia. I have reviewed Dorian vs Sean and Sean vs Kevin, and I'll leave annotations for those who have not watched the videos yet. As for our matchup for today, Paul is considerably taller, regardless of the difference in the photo's measurements. The front double biceps shows that Paul has the better biceps. They were massive and ripped and can be easily ranked among the best in the 90s. He has the wider chest and lats and a small waist in comparison with his phenomenal size and width, which grant him an impressive V-taper. Kevin never convinced me with his biceps, but his pose was still impressive overall. The front lat spread shows that Kevin hits the more aesthetic and symmetrical pose, as Paul had major problem hitting the front and the rear lat spread. They both show impressive level of conditioning, definition and separation, especially in the quads area. Kevin looks more aesthetic and pleasant to the eye in the chest and the shoulders areas. This is Kevin from the 1996 Mr. Olympia hitting the side chest pose. Although Paul hits an impressive pose making use of his monstrous size and density, Kevin in my opinion looks more proportioned and symmetrical, and his physique flows better. I was never impressed with Paul's massive veins in the chest area. The back double biceps was one of Paul's least impressive poses along with the rear lat spread. He lacks the size, the density, and the symmetry he shows in the front poses. Notice how his lats almost disappear in this pose, and how oversized his rear delts are, which kinda distort his overall proportions and symmetry. Although Kevin did not have the best back out there, he is more symmetrical and proportioned. The same goes with the rear lat spread. Paul never knew how to hit this pose properly, and never showed the size, the density, or the symmetry to match those who defeated him back then. Kevin, on the other hand, shows better size, density, and symmetry with impressive conditioning in the lower section. We have to skip the side triceps because there are no side triceps shots for Paul. The abs and thighs, however, shows that they both had tight midsection and ripped abs, but did not have the best abs out there and can't be compared to the likes of Flex and Sean Ray. It could go either way between the two, considering the quads which do not appear in this shot, but if I had to choose, then I would go with Paul because he had the better symmetrical and more aesthetic abs in my opinion. Opinion. The most muscular is a winning pose for Kevin who used to hit among the best poses of all time, making use of his impressive traps and phenomenal shoulders which are widely considered among the best of all time. Paul's posing was bad in general, and he truly looked awkward hitting this pose along with many other poses. So Kevin would win most of the poses except for the front double biceps and arguably the abs and thighs. I am thinking about comparing him to Brandon Carey next. By the way, I have compared Paul to Dorian and Ronnie Coleman. Check out the annotations and don't forget to subscribe, share and like. Thanks for watching and have a nice one.